22 nations and international organizations have met in Rome to find a way to financially help Libya's rebels. The rebels say that they need up to three billion U.S. dollars in the coming months for military salaries, food, medicine, and other basic needs. And Jutu Priest has a story. The meeting agreed to create an instrument dubbed the Temporary Financial Mechanism to channel funds to Libyan rebels. But there has been a cautious response from Western governments already grappling with their own financial problems. There are a number of measures, as announced by the United States, whereby it will be possible to partially employ the assets frozen as a consequence of the embargo. So part of these assets can be employed under supervision to meet the daily needs of the Libyan people. The contact group meeting comes after the two-month Libya conflict descended into stalemate, with the ill-organized rebels unable to defeat Gaddafi's forces despite NATO airstrikes. As the conflict drags on, the issue of how to pay for the uprising has grown more insistent. But Western countries have struggled to get around legal obstacles designed to cut Gaddafi off from outside financing. The Rebel Transitional National Council says it needs about two to three billion dollars in immediate aid. A spokesman says the rebels only have funds to pay for basic needs until the end of May. Only Qatar, which pledged 400 to 500 million dollars in Kuwait. Which promised 180 million, have said how much they will put into the temporary financial mechanism. But the meeting agreed on how the fund would be organized. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said Washington would seek to pass the legislation to unblock billions of dollars in Libyan assets to help the rebels. Andrew Dupuy, CCTV.